Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor. Today, I'm very excited because we have a very special guest with us. It is Philip Resnahan. He is an amazing gentleman um, who focuses on helping people heal naturally. And he's going to go more into that. And I want him to explain it because he has a lot to share. And for people suffering from conditions or don't feel 100% well, he has a wonderful way of showing people how to heal themselves. So before we begin, I just want to give a quick shout out to dmaworld.com. They are a marketing consultant agency owned by a gentleman named Mark. Mark believes that small businesses should not get ripped off by those large business corporations. He helps with marketing consulting and he wants to help you. So check out his website at dmaworld.com where he wants to help you grow into a big business and not get scammed by those big marketing companies. So Philip, I am so excited to have you on the show today. Uh, we were talking previously for a few minutes and and I am just, you know, you gave me a world of win of information before we began. And I think the world needs to hear about it because it's just, it's just amazing. You know, some of the research that you've done over the last 17 years and some of the progress you've seen in so many patients. I want you to share this all. Tell them a little bit about yourself, what you do, and then we'll just go on from there. Okay. Well, 18 years ago, I was rushed to the hospital with very high blood pressure. And that same year I was diagnosed with cancer. I had never been sick before, so I wanted to find out why I got what I did. So I actually became a clinical research analyst for the next 17 years. I studied every clinical study just about from all around the world on what the root cause is right. of every disease known to man. Because I know that when you treat the root cause of anything, you're giving your body what it needs to repair itself. Yes. And so I pretty much found out what the root cause is of every disease. So anybody wants to know. They can call me anytime. I'd be happy to speak with them one-on-one, -on -one, explain it to them, because it's actually very simple. It's not really complicated. Right. Now, you talked about cell rejuvenation, and a lot of times, you, you had mentioned beforehand, and I agree totally with you, a lot of times you go to the doctors, the doctors treat the symptoms, but they don't treat the actual condition. They make, they you know, a lot of times you'll see doctors, they'll give you medication, it will take away the symptoms, but the, 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 uh, the condition is still there. The root cause of what's causing you to feel the way you are is still there. So they give you these medications, you take away the symptoms, and then you get more symptoms from the medication you're taking. And then you come back to the doctor and say, hey, now I feel X, Y, and Z. Well, he gives you another prescription. And the root cause of what's causing these problems in your body is still there. It's still evolving and it's still getting worse. And you're not fixing the problem. So, you know, explain to people about the why it's so important to focus on the root cause and Every illness, every time we get symptoms, there's a root cause for it. And it can usually be fixed once we learn what the root cause is and how we can actually fix it. Because it's very interesting. And I agree 100% with what you were describing. Okay. Well, the, when I, the reason I say it's simple is because of the research that I've done over the last 17 years, you learn some simple things. One is that all disease starts at the cell level not at the organ or system level. Right. So the next question is, well, what is going wrong with my cells to create this issue? Well, in order for anything to function today, no matter what it is, it has to have electrons or the energy to function properly. Right. When we're born, every cell in our body has trillions of what they call free radical atoms that have a positive charge and trillions of antioxidant atoms that have a negative charge. Right. As long as they stay in balance, we maintain our health. Yes. Well, scientists found out that as we get older, our body starts producing more free radical atoms, and they actually call that the aging process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, they also found out because of our diets, and this is what your doctor will always tell you, well, it's something in your diet, right? Because of our diets, we're actually flooding our body with free radicals, and that's where disease and illness comes in. And I'll give you a real simple uh, uh, explanation like with diabetes. Mm -hmm. Your beta cells in your pancreas controls your insulin production. Right. When your beta cells lose some of their electrons, they no longer have the energy to control it. So you get diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. When your beta cells lose all of their electrons, it can't function at all. Now you have type 1 diabetes. When your beta cells become positively charged, you actually have pancreatic cancer. Mm. See, that's the big difference between cancer and any other disease. 
when your cells become positively charged, they become cancerous. Well, how do our cells become positively charged? As the doctor says, by our diets. Right. My my problem is I used to drink soda breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. Soda, Red Bull, Gatorade, all of the energy drinks have a positive charge of about 500 millivolts of free radicals in every drop. Wow. It robs the electrons out of your cells. Wherever your weakest cells are in your body will actually determine what health condition you get. Wow. Well, Tufts University actually took live cells and they lowered the voltage from a negative 25 to a positive 30 that became tumorous. When they raised it back up to a negative 60, it actually destroyed the tumors. Wow. So Professor Levin said, we have proven it's the electrical events that determine whether you get cancer or not. He said, it's like an on and off switch. Wow. The only problem is you're not going to hear about this through mainstream medicine. Yeah. But I did want to read this one little part of this article about Tufts University. It goes on to say that uh, Professor Le Levin has said, we have shown it's the electrical events that tell your cells what to do. He said the voltage changes are not merely a sign of cancer. They control and direct whether cancer occurs or not. He said it's like an on and off switch. Now, he went on to say, it said in previous research, Tufts scientists have shown how manipulating your membrane voltage which is what we do by what we eat and drink, can influence or regulate cellular behavior, such as cell proliferation, migration, and shape in vivo, which is live cells, now listen to this, and can be used to induce the formation or regenerative repair of whole organs and appendages. So no matter what your health issue is, if you give your body the electrons it needs, it can now repair any damage in your body and give your cells the electrons it needs now to make healthy cells. Because right. every cell in our body has the DNA to do that. But without the electrons to do it, you'll never get better. You have to give your body the electrons it needs to repair itself. Now, how does a person give, your, give themselves the proper electrons to heal themselves? What should a person do? How do they get... Well, when I used to do health workshop, I used to tell people, you either have to change your diet mm -hmm. to a whole food plant-based diet because in natural fruits and vegetables, you do get electrons. But once you have a serious health issue, you can't eat enough to overcome it. Right. So there's only one way that I found out uh, how to do that. And scientists years ago found out that there was a special water in seven different places around the world that used to help people with a lot of health issues. Yes. And scientists found out the difference between that water and the water we drink here. There was a special element in the water called molecular hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Well, molecular hydrogen has a negative charge of 500 to 700 millivolts of electrons in every drop, okay? Wow. A gentleman in Japan developed a device that emulated the water in those seven places. They declared it a medical device there and it's in just about all the hospitals there because in Japan, they practice preventive medicine. They don't treat symptoms like they do here in the States. So 16 years or 17 years ago, I ordered me a machine from Japan. I have not been sick in 17 years Wow! because I'm feeding my body what it needs to repair itself and to keep my body detoxed. I didn't have to change my diet because it's, I drink enough of it that is flushing everything out and taking the stress off my liver and kidneys. Wow. But I'll, gi I'll give you one real quick example. I was in Ecuador for about eight years, teaching people the Bible in English. Mm -hmm. This guy came up to me, called himself Dr. Santini, said he's a naturopath in the States. His wife had had a stroke two years ago and she couldn't talk because of the brain damage. Yeah. So I loaned him one of these machines from Japan and I told him, I know this will help repair the brain damage. He says, I just don't know how long it will take. Make yeah. sure she drinks this much every day. It took two and a half months. She woke him up in the middle of the night carrying on this long conversation. He called me up crying like a baby. He's so happy to have his wife back. Aww. He called me a week later crying again. I said, Don, what's wrong? He says, you're not going to believe it. He says, she's even arguing with me. <laughs> and that's like, because the synapses and everything is working like it's supposed to. I think yeah. he might have cut her back after that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all it is, is you're giving your body what it needs to repair itself and make healthy cells again. And that's what you need to do if you want to regain your health. And it doesn't matter what your health issue is, except for, as I was mentioning earlier to you personally, Lou Gehrig's and Parkinson's, mm -hmm. you have to catch them early. Otherwise, their mitochondria, which is in every cell, right. normally makes electrons. But once it gets damaged by free radicals, it actually starts producing so many free radicals, it's hard to overcome. 
So those two you have to catch very early. But otherwise, Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, all of those are electrical issues in the brain. Right. If you give it what it needs, you're never going to have to worry about that. And that's why I didn't want to get cancer again. I didn't want to have a stroke from having high blood pressure. Yes. That's why I did the research I did. And I, on my website, which is the wellnessexpert.us, you can see 50 clinical studies that talk about the root cause of every health issue. And also, if you click on molecular hydrogen, you'll see 50 clinical studies right off the government's website, PubMed, how molecular hydrogen reverses all of these health issues. Wow. That's amazing. Now, can someone get a hold of this type of device? Do they sell it in the United States? You have to go and find it in Japan. Like, how can you? If no, basically, if they call me, because there is a protocol that you also have to follow when you drink it. Mm -hmm. Anybody that contacts me personally by email, I'd be happy to uh, have a Zoom meeting with them or talk to them on the phone. I can give them everything they need to know because there's a big problem in the States. They sell a lot of knockoff machines. That only uh, work about three to six months because of the way they're built. Right, right. And I'd rather go into that one-on-one -on -one with them so they understand the difference. Yes. So, yes. but this one I've had for 16 years and it still is working great. They're made to last for 15. Oh and wow. So it's if anybody has any serious health issue, I would love to send them the actual documented clinical studies about their specific health issue so they can see why they have it. Yeah. And now how to reverse it naturally. Wow. That's amazing. And so is this like a full-time job for you? Do you focus on helping individuals? Like, do you have seminars? Do you have like different types of, uh, um, you know, consultations with people um, or books? I don't, that's not really full-time at present because I'm really, I've just now gotten to a point in my life where I can explain it where the Hopefully the common person can understand it. Yeah. But uh, I'm I'm free to talk to anybody at any time if they will just go to my website and email me mm -hmm. uh, their information. Then I will call them back and set up a time to answer any other questions and tell them what they need to know. Though there is one thing I wanted to mention. Uh, th there's what they call autoimmune diseases out there. Yes. Mm -hmm. The doctors tell the people that your body is attacking itself. Yes. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? OK, right. and I'll give you a quick example. Multiple sclerosis. OK, had this gentleman in a really high wheel uh, wheelchair and he told me he had MS. I said, do you know why you have MS? He says, no. So I kind of explained it to him, showed him some of the clinical studies. And I said, there is one way to reverse this. And he didn't believe me. Right. He said, show me the clinical studies. I said, well, come back tomorrow and I'll have them for you. So I went on the government's website, PubMed, where they publish all the clinical studies printed up 14 clinical studies that explained why he has it and how to reverse it naturally. And he says, why don't they know about this? I said, yeah. well, <laughs> that, uh, that I uh, would, you know, you need to ask them why, because I had to study clinical studies for 17 years to find out. And right. most people just don't spend the time. Cause I know, I know somebody that has alopecia and you know, that. You know, they basically said, like what you said, your body is attacking yourself. And yeah. they told the person that, you know, there's nothing really they can do about it. And so they lost all their hair and, you know, they, they have just learned to accept it and love themselves for who they are. But, you know, they, it, it doesn't seem like they're looking anymore for a solution because they don't think it's any, there is any solution really out there. Well, see, the problem is, Unfortunately, doctors are not trained in electrical issues Yeah, because our body is an electrical chemical factory. When the electrical breaks down, the chemical don't work. And in the States, they only treat the chemical. But to, give, to go back about MS, free radicals are not only have a positive charge, but they're also very acidic. Yeah, And the acid and inflammation, it eats away the myelin sheath on their nerves. Right, And that's what actually causes it. Well, when you flood your body with molecular hydrogen, it's the strongest antioxidant known to mankind. It neutralizes the free radicals, gives your cells what they need now to recreate the myelin sheath, and it takes care of the issue. But like I said, there is a protocol that you would have to follow depending upon your health issue that I would be happy to go over with anybody one-on-one. -on -one. Wow, that's amazing. You know, can this also be used as a preventative tool also? Because, you know, you're 
these these uh, energy frequencies and and the the um the water that you're talking about and and the rejuvenation of cells is now if you if you kept up with yourself and you and you learn to you know um keep your body to the point where it's it's rejuvenating healthy cells can you pr can you prevent conditions that your body's prone to or would have been prone to from occurring with this yeah that's a very good question. Now, a lot of doctors will say, oh, you inherited this or you inherited that. Right. You didn't inherit cancer from your family, even though they may have had it. Yeah. The reason they got it is you inherited weak cells. Right. Okay. But it's not to those cells turn positive. Do they become cancerous? Right. So yes, if you got your own machine and started drinking it every day. Now, to be honest with you, I don't really like water, mm -hmm. but it's all I drink. Yeah, uh, I don't drink soda, Gatorade, any of that stuff anymore because I know the damage it causes. Right. And of course, you know, I like to go out and have a good time and I'll have a mixed drink now and then. But mainly it's all I drink. Yeah. But I enjoy it because I can eat whatever I want. Right. Because I'm I've got a sweet tooth. So I'm a sweetaholic. <laughs> and I know I would be dead by now if I didn't have the molecular hydrogen <laughs> counteracting what I'm putting in my body. Right. Right. Yeah. So it does it does help prevent everything because you're keeping your body healthy. Put it this way. I always do a little test on people mm -hmm. and I have them drink just two swallows of the water. And I show them how they, their brain actually feels it immediately. Wow. It's called the dehydration test. Yeah. Have, have you ever took a shot of whiskey or tequila straight down? Yes. OK, you would notice you feel it right away because the molecules are so small, they penetrate your blood brain barrier as you're drinking it. But it dehydrates your brain. Yeah, that's why you have trouble with balance and strength. Mm -hmm. OK, well, tap water and butter water has so much garbage in it. The molecules cluster together yeah. anywhere from 15 to 100 molecules. So your body is only absorbing about 10 percent of it. Right. And very little gets into your blood brain barrier. Yeah. Molecular hydrogen is only five to seven molecules per cluster. Right. So as soon as you drink it, it penetrates it right away and you'll feel the difference in balance and strength immediately. And they even did a study and they showed that a lot of the water that we buy that's supposed to be purified when they yeah. did testing that it wasn't 100 percent purified, that they found, you know, different ingredients and different impurities in the water still after yeah. the water was actually purified. Yeah, most of your bottled water is not any better than your tap water. Matter of fact, some of it's worse yeah. because of stuff they do to it. Uh, reverse osmosis and distilled water are very, very strong free radicals, and they will cause osteoarthritis and other issues. Really? So you need to stay away from those. And most tap water has got a positive charge of about 200 to 300 millivolts of free radicals. Wow. Only the molecular hydrogen water. Now, you can buy alkaline water in the store. Yeah. That will help with the acid, but it's not going to give your cells the electrons it needs to keep you healthy. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. But it is the best water you can buy in the store. You can't buy molecular hydrogen in the store because the electrons deplete over a day or two. Oh, I see. So okay. you can't store it. That's why you have to have your own machine hooked right up to the kitchen sink. It's only about this big. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah. And like you said, I've had mine for 16 years. So it's made the last. And I have an electrical meter. It's mm -hmm. called an ORP meter, which stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential. Wow. And when you put the meter in it, you see how it has a negative charge where you put it in a tap water or anything else has a positive charge. Wow. So it makes a huge difference. So you can physically see it with an electrical meter besides feeling it immediately. So I didn't realize that you could actually hook this up to your, your kitchen your sink kitchen sink when you yeah. were talking i thought it maybe it was like a gadget or something like that so it's not yeah. it's actually it actually has it's hooked up to your sink and yeah. it is the energies is, is doing something to the water which makes in turn it gives you the qualifications and the, and the ingredients and what you need to rejuvenate the cells in the body so you rejuvenate you have cell rejuvenation and you could actually heal yeah, you have to actually plug the machine in. Mm -hmm. It has 280 watts of voltage that goes through it. And what it does, it separates the acid water from the alkaline water. Gotcha. The okay. alkaline has a high negative charge where the acidic water has a high positive charge. Gotcha. Now you you got to be careful because a lot of stuff on the internet, they talk about these hydrogen bottles and all this other. Yeah. The problem is the metal they're using mm -hmm. can basically, is can be very toxic. Right. 
The machine I use is actually made in a medical facility. So it's medical grade uh, uh, titanium or platinum, titanium coated with medical grade platinum. Wow. So it's healthy for you where a lot of this other stuff, they use stuff that's not coated and it, you end up getting stuff in your water that is not healthy. Yeah. So that's why I say you have to be very careful and make sure you get the right device if you want to maintain your health. Right. And I was mentioning to you earlier, I had this one lady had leukemia yeah. for seven years. I got her drinking the molecular hydrogen and in six weeks, she went in for her regular blood test. Doctor called her up the next day, said, you need to come back in. She said, why? He said, something happened with your blood test. She said, what do you mean? What well, doesn't show you have leukemia? She tried telling him what she's doing. He said, oh, no, that won't work. She said, well, I'll come in, but I ain't going to pay for it. He said, I'll pay for it. Get in here. <laughs> Get another blood test. She didn't have leukemia anymore. Wow. Because leukemia is in the blood, it, it actually gets rid of leukemia very quickly. Most cancers, it takes, you know, two to three months to get rid of it totally. Yeah. But with leukemia, it gets rid of it very quickly because it is in the blood and your blood is 85% water. Right. Wow. So, That's amazing. That's amazing. It makes a big difference. Remember one thing it, doctors will not tell you, but all cancerous tissue has a positive charge. Mm -hmm. All healthy tissue has a negative charge. Yeah. So when you drink too much of soda, Red Bull, Gatorade, see, that was my problem. As I mentioned earlier, I drank soda breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's why I got my cancer. But since I've been drinking the molecular hydrogen, 17 years, I never got it back. Yeah. I haven't and, had soda in God knows how long, but I remember one of our uncles used to, he, it was like a magic trick he used to do with the kids is where he used to take soda. He put it in a little cup, a little glass cup, yeah. he would put a penny in it. And oh, then yeah. at the end of the, at the end of the party, everybody would, all the little kids would go around and everybody would look and the penny would be gone. It disintegrated. So that tells you if, if, a, if a, a, a cup of soda could disintegrate a penny, can you imagine yeah. what it does to your body? Exactly. Every cell in your body. It's not yeah. good. Not yeah. good at all. Matter of fact, it mutates your DNA. It can damage your proteins. It damages every th free radicals in general. Right. It can damage every molecule in your cells. And that's what contributes to all these diseases. You know, I think one of the biggest myths that so many people think and they 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 they're they're fearful of it is oh my god, you know, I can get cancer because it's in my family. I you know, so and so yeah. has it, so and so has it, you know, and they get they get terrified because they know other people in their household, in their families had cancer that, you know, are in immediate members of their family. So they immediately think, you know, it's inheritive, you know, they don't think yeah. that it's weak cells. Well, I'm going to give you this one article from the National Institute of Health, which is the largest health institute in the world. And this study that they came out with was based on 100 other clinical studies. Right. Now, it starts off with the term oxidative stress. Yeah. Oxidative stress is only used for free radical damage. Wow. Okay. Yeah. This is oxidative stress, inflammation, and cancer. How are they linked? That was the title of the article on PubMed. Oh wow! It goes. It goes on to say that extensive research during the last two decades has revealed a mechanism by which continued oxidative stress or free radical damage can lead to chronic inflammation, which in turn could mediate or cause most chronic diseases, including cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, neurological diseases, pulmonary disease, pretty much every disease in the book. Wow! So they know what the root cause is but they're not going to make it public because the molecular hydrogen that you drink to reverse it is natural. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, and they can't make any money off things that are natural. Right. You know, exactly. but believe it or not, the pharmaceutical industry even printed an article, how molecular hydrogen reverses dementia, Parkinson's, uh, diabetes, uh, arthrosclerosis, all of those. So yeah. they know it. Yeah. But if they make it public, they're going to be out of business. Right. Exactly. Yeah, you know it, it. It's amazing. It's you know, uh, it's just outstanding. Like this information is because is, you don't hear about this. You know, you when know. you you know, like I've been to seminars and I've been to like you know, I've heard doctors talk and you know that are holistic and and I you know I've heard you know people in in you know scientists talk that have you know come to revelations you know across the years of of you know some a lot of the scientists kind of walked away from their jobs because they realized yeah. you know they have come across information that's so valuable and they want to share it with the world and they want to help others and you know I, there was one gentleman i knew who's a rocket scientist and he, he no. came across certain information that he knew would help 
so many people. Yeah. And, um, you know, some of the, the information, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of like what you were explaining, you know, people don't realize how powerful energy is, you know, because they can't yeah. see it. They, yeah. they don't understand it and they don't believe it, but you know, it's our whole body is run by energy. We wouldn't be here if we didn't have energy, you know, exactly. And, and, it's- and see the, the problem with, and uh, that's something you brought up was nice. The clinical researchers and the scientists who find all this out their research guess what doesn't belong to them it belongs to the ones who are funding their project yeah yeah yeah. so that's they true. they can't really make this public or they could actually be in big time trouble right but right because it's on the government's website pubmed right. i can send everybody to their website on my website and they can go there and read it for themselves right so they can see it's nothing i came up with i'm not that smart <laughs> i just <laughs> i learned from the people who have studied this for yeah. all their life wind up what the root cause was because that's what it all boils down to you right. treat the root cause your body will repair itself right exactly exactly and you know and you see even with the with the cancerous cells you know your blood leaches it feeds onto it and and then your your weak cells grow and grow and that's how those tumors get so large you know and uh yep. but you can come across you know um you know molecular energy and and be able to you know and and have the access to that type of water and, yeah. and be able to have the ingredients in that water to actually heal yourself you know yeah. it, it's a it's a whole other world uh you know of healing it's it it's amazing you know uh you know people don't realize but everything we put in our bodies even you know th- people don't realize oh, there's so many areas in the united states that the water is so polluted like, you know i i have you know family that that you know they tell them don't drink the water you know buy bottled water you know in their town you know but then you're taking showers and that water is going in your pores which is going in your body so yeah it's like you can't escape it you know it's like people don't realize that we're we're surrounded by toxins every day and if we don't if we don't get rid of those toxins if we don't rejuvenate our bodies and we don't rejuvenate our cells you know eventually you know our body is going to slowly break down but if we can rejuvenate ourselves and we can rejuvenate our bodies you know our bodies will rejuvenate our organs and and the rest of our bodies and then 100 percent. you know well They've already proven that your body can make a whole new liver, like in 45 days, yeah. all new blood cells, I think in 45 days, all these different, because that, that's the way our body is made. Every exactly. cell has its own DNA to continually make new cells, healthy cells. But because of the free radical damage, it can't do that unless you start giving your body what it needs so it can start making new healthy cells again. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so important. People have to realize that it's 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 vital that we make healthy cells. That we that yeah. we, as we get older, we don't rejuvenate our cells as as quick as we do when we're younger. Everything yeah. slows down, and and so that opens us up to illness as well. So you know, if yeah. you have devices or if you have you know, and you learn how to eat healthier, and you learn how to incorporate everything into one whole healthy lifestyle you can rejuvenate your cells you could feel young again you know when 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 you do the right things it's amazing how your body you could feel like you're 20 years younger you know and yeah. it, it's like your energy level goes up you start to feel better you start to be you know might you might not be able to go on the treadmill for like 10 minutes without getting exhausted now you're on there for a half an hour you know yeah. you start to realize huge changes and that might not be some people might it might not be like a like a big thing but to a lot of people it is you know yeah it's it's uh it, it's you know you always think back especially as you get older what you were able to do, once do and then yeah. what you're able to do now but imagine if you could start changing your lifestyle chart start changing the things you do in your lifestyle start change you know using the proper water and the fluids and using a device like yours and in rejuvenating your cells and starting to actually increase your increase your health overall health and maybe even increase your longevity in life you know how valuable that could be it's just on my website i do have some testimonials of people who have been drinking this for a long time yeah but then i also have a video of a lot of celebrities that have been drinking this for a long time they may not know why it's helping them like it is but like j-lo has her machine beyonce has her machine i know trump has seven of our machines uh brady the quarterback 
Uh, I think he has five of our machines uh, because it gives – when uh, football players drink this and they play a game, the next day they don't feel like they played a game. Oh, really? Because their body doesn't hit that wall like they do when they're working out. Yeah. In fact, I gave a newspaper to um, the manager of the gym I go to, how all the athletes are drinking this. And so before I left, he said, I want some of that. I said, well, first I have to do a dehydration test on you. I said, what is the maximum you can bench press? He said, 280. Right. I said, well, put 300 on there and have somebody spot you. So he put 300 on there and went to lay down and couldn't get it off the bar. I said, mm-hmm. try some of this. He drank a few swallows. I said, try it again. He laid back. He's going three, four. I said, that's <laughs> enough. That's enough. Your brain controls everything you do. Mm-hmm. When your brain doesn't have the electrons and the, the hydration that it needs, yes, it cannot function properly. No, it cannot. You give it what it needs. And to be honest with you, I've taken all types of nutrients all my life and I, the only thing I really take now is vitamin B and uh, uh, D. <laughs> well, you know, besides what? this water, you know, because vitamin C, as an example, does not have electrons in it. So no. when you, when you eat an orange, you're getting the vitamin C and the electrons in it. Yeah, a lot of the vitamins do not have the stuff in it that your body really needs. Right, the water does give you that. Yeah, and that's why it's important because it, it helps your body start making even more antioxidants by itself yeah. as you drink it. So makes a difference oh yeah for sure it definitely uh this is such a, this is so exciting to me because like you yeah. know i've always been interested in this i i've have seen seminars i've done research on it and this is just a different way of looking at it because i didn't even know they had a device like this available yeah. to the public so that even makes it better because for me i'm a big water drinker but yeah. maybe i'm not drinking the right water you know yeah, it's not getting into the cells yeah yeah so i'm imagine- i'm I'm 68 years old. I still play volleyball, pickleball, still enjoy life. But I, like I said, if I didn't find out what I did many years ago, I wouldn't, I know for a fact, I wouldn't even be here because once, once you have cancer, most people know you can always get it back Yeah. because you're not treating the cause of your cancer. Yeah. You know, when they do chemo and radiation is actually poison. That's one reason I actually moved to Ecuador for eight years. I got tired of watching these commercials with little kids with leukemia, their hair falling out, their eyes are sunken, and because they're poisoning them with chemo and radiation, yeah. when the higher ups know how to treat it naturally. Yeah. So I went to Ecuador for eight years and teach people the Bible in English because I just couldn't, the corruption in the medical industry just really kind of got to me for a while. <laughs> yeah, no, it, I I, I uh, agree with you 100%. Yeah. yeah, that's why I do what I do. And that's why I have people like you come on the show, because, yeah. <laughs> you know. To make well, a difference. You know? That's the main thing. I, I just want to get the information out there so people can learn for themselves because right. knowledge makes a big difference. When you know why you have your health issue, yes. you know what you can do to take care of it now, you feel a whole lot better. The stress is gone. And you even- know, when I first got back here uh, to Florida, where I live, mm-hmm. one of my uh, best friends died two weeks after finding out he had cancer. Gosh. Well, my wife is bugging me honey, please go get a test. You know, you've had it before, you know, because she doesn't have all the knowledge I have. Yeah. I said, so I said, honey, you know, I can't have it, but I will go have a PET scan done. When I had a PET scan done, no cancer anywhere in my body because I do what I do. If you yeah. give your body the electrons, you can't get cancer. You have to flood your body. It's only when you eat and drink stuff that you shouldn't, your cells become positively charged. Can you have cancer? You right. know? And like I said, that can be taken care of if you start treating the root cause. And that to me is a biggie that people need to know about. And I, I think, you know, it's it's even if you, you know, there are a lot of people that have a hard time understanding their condition. Well, the doctor might try to explain it to them in medical terminology. They know what they have, but they don't understand in detail. But if, you know, the main thing is if they have a device like yours where they can have the right type of water with the right type of ingredients that could actually mm-hmm. give them the negative, you know, um, electrons, electrons to rejuvenate their cells, then you know, it will make them better and it can prevent, yeah. you know, cancer from reoccurring or occurring, you know, or, and yeah. help other conditions as well. Like, you know, you're basically talking about all conditions. It could, you know, yeah. to a, an extent and, you know, that's all they need, you know, and, and that, that's all the information they should need. You know, you can do, 
you know, a lot of people, they, they just Google, you know, and they don't realize yeah. that a lot of the information on the internet is false. And then a lot right. of the information on the internet in medical journals, if you're not knowledgeable, it will go over your, your head and you're not going right. to understand it. You'll understand bits and pieces, but a lot of it will be gibberish to you because it's in complex terminology. So, you know, basically it's, it's very simple the way you explain it. If you're yeah. getting negative electrons in your body, then mm -hmm. the rejuvenation of your cells will will rejuvenate and it can make healthy cells again, make healthy cells again. And it will help to prevent or even cure your condition and make you feel better. And it make well, you I just don't use the word cure because if people stop drinking the water and they go back to drinking the soda, Red Bull Gatorade. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll all come back again. So. All I say is you give your body what it needs to repair itself. I like if that. You continue, yes. If you continue drinking the water, yes. you can't get cancer because uh, now the water will not work. Let me let me go two things. If you're drinking Red Bull, soda, Gatorade, it takes 31 glasses of molecular hydrogen to get rid of the acid and inflammation in one soda. Wow. That's amazing. So it will not work if you don't follow a certain protocol. Yes. Okay. Um so that's kind of important. It will not work if you're on a diuretic because mm -hmm. you're trying to get the water in your body and diuretics are trying to get them out of your body. Yes, <laughs> you know? yes, yes. So there's a certain protocol you have to follow. And that's what I like to go over with everybody. I do want to mention I'm not a doctor. OK, I don't treat symptoms. I'm just give you information that you can look for yourself on the government's website, PubMed, where you can see it for yourself and I can answer any questions. But I do not give medical advice. And what is your website again? So they can go on your website and then they can get information on your website. And also if they want to contact you with more questions or even to purchase yeah. this, where do they go? Okay. My website is the wellness expert dot us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And because I'm not giving you information for people to buy anything, I will give them the information personally, but on my website, you can actually push something and, and buy something. Cause I think people need to understand what they're doing. Exactly. Before they do it, because there's so much garbage out there that people buy and it doesn't work. Yeah. You know, I like to ed educate you first. And then if you decide you want to get a machine, I can send you a link that you can order it right off the Internet. And normally have it within four to five days. Looked right up to your kitchen sink. And I also recommend you buy the electrical meter so mm -hmm. you can test the water for yourself to see that it has the electrons that it has. Right. OK. And then you can test your tap water to find out it doesn't have the electrons. Right. So that way you can see the proof for yourself besides all of the documented clinical research that's on my website. And my phone number, by the way, also is 813-244-1135. Anybody can call me or email me at any time. I'd be happy to speak to them. Just don't call me after 9 p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> <laughs> i will not answer <laughs> i don't blame you i don't work after yeah. nine o'clock either <laughs> yeah. that you know this has been a wonderful experience i you know i hope to have you back on the show i hope that we can you know work together and, and help to educate you know others in uh you know different ways of healing the body different ways of incorporating this into our body and maybe even in the future going a little bit more in depth about different ways of eating and incorporating the right. um, the the water into our system and and we can go on forever there's a lot of topics but this this, yes. this podcast that we've done right today i think you've supplied so much valuable information information that i didn't even know about and i know a lot and yeah. you know and, and it's like a very exciting to me that you could have a device in your kitchen that could actually help to repair the body and um this is something that i think people need to learn more about and you know because there are a lot of things on the market today and a lot of stuff isn't isn't even approved by the fda and there is anyone could put anything on the on the um on the internet but you have yeah. medical and scientific research that has yeah. shown that it works so you know they can go on they can read this information they can get proof that it works and then they could actually contact you if they're interested if they want to you know maybe repair their body repair their you know help their condition or even prevent a condition from occurring so you know everybody this is philip his information will be in his in our description and you know please feel free to contact him but don't contact him after 9 p.m <laughs> eastern time <laughs> no thank you very much for having me on i appreciate it oh thank you so much this has been a pleasure and thank you so much for sharing your time and and your all the knowledge and expertise that you have in this field thank you very much
Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.